what kind of effect did, did that have on your psyche to consistently look like probably the best player in the world, but then fall short in the finals? Mm. Uh, that's a little bit old, so I don't remember the exact date. 어 자주 들었던 생각은 아 나는 어 약간 주인공이 될수 없는 운명인가 막 그런 생각을 많이 했었어요. 어 나도 이제 좀어 그러니까 애초에 나는 이제 주인공이 될수 없는 뭐 그런 운명 뭐 그런 생각도 많이 했었고 어 Hey, I see a story in here. I wasn't kidding when I said I had a whole slew of legendary names coming on my channel, and here is yet another. Sue established himself as an elite player way back in 2013 when he made his first of six eventual GSL finals. And while he would never snag one of those coveted GSL pins, Eon Sue left an undeniable mark on the landscape of Korean StarCraft and the international scene alike. Sitting down with him for this interview was an honor and a privilege, and I hope you all enjoy the conversation, as I sure did. If you enjoy what I'm doing here and don't want to miss out on future releases like this, be sure to get subscribed. If you really love my work, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the video description. That said, let's jump in to my word with Sue. So, Sue, thank you uh, so much for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I need it. So, how did you first get started uh, with StarCraft? Um, first I bought a computer, but there was a StarCraft game in there. I tried it once, but I felt like I was That makes sense. Um, were there any uh, StarCraft 1 players that you really idolized when you were young? At that time, I was really... 훌륭한 선수들이 많았었는데 그 중에서도 이제 팬이었던 거는 이제 홍진호 선수를 가장 존경해왔습니다. That's it's really interesting, right? Because I think there are some parallels between his career and your career, um, with you know this sort of Kong moniker being thrust onto both of you. I mean, obviously you overcame that, um, but we'll get to that like a little later. So how did your family feel about your decision to become a pro gamer? My uh,公務な派じゃらぬせんがくろ。じゃあ、趣味をへそんで。いじ。く。コリジメチラぬげいすよ。く、いじ。チュンプロ作業中がふっとかすいんぬんてべよんで。ふもにもれながそ。こいじ
선수로 만들어준 팀이고 그것뿐만 아니라 어 저를 이제 인격적으로도 이제 고등학생 때부터 시작했잖아요 그런데도 인격적으로 저를 어좀 올바르게 키워내준 팀 그래서 어떻게 보면은 어 부모님 같은 그런 팀이었죠 제가 이제 17살 때부터 갔는데 그때도 이제 부모님의 손이 필요하던 때였는데 그걸 이제 T1에서 대신 해 주었고 네, 여러모로 고마운 팀이죠. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I, I think um, even as an international fan, it was always very clear to me that SKT was a very polished and prestigious organization. Yeah. So. I think it's very interesting as well that you were a team member of, of SKT during the KESPA lockout from uh, StarCraft 2. What were your thoughts on that on that situation at the time? Um, uh, then, uh, 상황을 겪은 적은 처음이었고 저뿐만 아니라 이제 형들도 어 굉장히 이제 좀 처음 겪는 상황이라서 음 그냥 그때 당시에는 그냥 좀 힘들었던 것 같아요 답은 답은 잘 모르겠고 그냥 힘들었다고 말할 수 있을 것 같아요. Yeah, I mean. Not to mention the fact that you were growing up and becoming an adult, but also this was a very tumultuous situation. It was a legal battle. Uh, I can imagine there being a lot of pressure. Do you think Kespa's decision to, you know, sort of hold this lockout and prevent players from transferring over to StarCraft II is one of the reasons that StarCraft 2 did not make the lasting cultural impact that StarCraft 1 did? 음, 어, 제가 어, 뭐 정확하게는 모르겠지만 저 생각, 제 생각을 말하자면 어, 분명히 어느 정도 영향을 끼쳤다고 생각을 해요. 그 이제 커뮤니티나 그런 거를 봤을 때 어, 그런 이제 사건으로 인해서 음, 안 좋은 글들이 많이 생겨났던 걸 보면은 어, 분명 악영향을 끼쳤다고 생각해요. That makes sense. Uh, you know, one thing that um, Cure said to me during our interview was he felt as a result of the Kespa lockout there was a lack of star power in like among the active professionals in the StarCraft II era. Um, you know, we didn't get to see Jadong and Flash and Stork and Bisu play StarCraft II very early on. And I think it's possible that names like that, that were so big, uh, you know, in the country could have helped uh, launch and propel StarCraft II uh, when it was new. Mm. 그것도 이제 여러 이유들 중에 하나라고 뭐 생각을 하는 입장이고 어뭐 그거 말고도 뭐또 여러 그냥 종합적으로 좀잘안 됐던 이유들은 어좀 있는 것 같아요. 그거 말고도. For sure. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a multifaceted thing. There was competition for StarCraft 2 with League of Legends and, and, and Sudden Attack and these other games that were very popular in Korea. Beyond that, the games are just very different. StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2, they flow very different. They look very different. Um, and, you know, Brood War had the uh, advantage of coming out around the same time that high-speed internet came out. So, of course, yeah, it's, it's a very complicated issue. Um, so, you know, you seem to have really fond memories of, uh, your days on a big team. Um, do you miss living in the team house environment? 
음그 당시에는 좀아 빨리 좀 이제 헤어지자 지, 지겹다 너네 뭐 이런 얘기를 많이 했었는데 지나고 나니까 그립고 또 하고 싶고 그러더라고요. Yeah, I think uh... When looking back on that, living in a team house must represent the feeling of youth for you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, going back to what we were talking about earlier, obviously there was a time period in your career where you had all of these second and also third place uh, finishes in, in GSL and in some other tournaments. Um, What kind of effect did, did that have on your psyche to consistently look like probably the best player in the world, but then fall short in the finals? Ah, 그 그것도 이제 좀 오래돼 가지고 뭐잘 정확하게 기억은 안 나는데 어 자주 들었던 생각은 아 나는 어 약간 주인공이 될수 없는 운명인가 막 그런 생각을 많이 했었어요. 어 나도 이제 좀어 그러니까 애초에 나는 이제 주인공이 될수 없는 뭐 그런 운명 뭐 그런 생각도 많이 했었고 어음 나는 안될 놈이다 약간 안될한 막 그런 생각도 많이 하고 그때는 근데 <웃음> 뭐 별의별 생각 다 했죠. 네. So, you know, one thing about the, that era for you that I always, they found kind of weird was you did win a Caspa Cup, but for some reason, it seemed like people did not view that Caspa Cup victory as an end of that curse. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Um, oh, I didn't 어, 이해를 못했어요. 나름 이제 모든 프로 게이머들이 출전하는 대회고 뭐 상금 규모가 뭐 그렇게 크진 않았지만 그래도 어느 정도 됐었고 어 그래서 저는 좀 억울했었죠. 나름 이제 처음으로 하는 아, 하는 이제 우승한 대회고 오프라인 대회고 이제 인정을 좀 받을 줄 알았는데 어, 어 사람들 반응이 왜 이러지? 어 사람들 반응이 왜 인정을 안 해주지? 라고 좀 아쉬워했었는데 지금 생각해 보면은 어 그럴 수도 있다고 생각해요. 어뭐 <웃음> 사람 한뭐한명 놀리는데 뭐, <웃음> 뭐 그냥 그럴 수 있다고 생각합니다. 네. Yeah, that's kind of the reason I brought it up because. I was a big fan of yours, and I viewed it as like, oh, wow, he finally won a premier tournament. That's awesome. But a lot of people didn't really have that sentiment. I, I, it didn't make any sense to me at all. I, I don't know. And what's really funny is, on the flip side, uh, Neeb won a Caspa Cup, and that was like considered <laughs> a huge deal because he was you know, the first uh, non-Korean to win an event in Korea in so many years. So it's... Yeah, I think what you said really hit the nail on the head that like it really was just like a kind of a meme. Yeah, I don't know. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> um, but anyhow, so, you know, what was your mindset like going into IEM Katowice 2019? Um, 어, 그 당시에... 음, 잘하고 싶다는 그 욕심은 있었는데 이제 우승까지는 당연히 바라보지는 못했고 어, 첫 목표는 그냥 아, 예선이라도 꼭 통과해보고 싶다 그러니까 IEM을 그동안 그 본선에 가본 적이 없어가지고 IEM 갔다 온 선수들의 그 평이 워낙 좋았어서 나도 한번 해보고 싶다 그런 생각으로 예선만 뚫차라는 생각으로 이제 출발했었죠 So going into the finals, that was a huge stage, huge crowd, gigantic prize pool. And you had this piano hanging over your head of 
people having very negative expectations for what you were capable of in the finals to that point in your career. Um, did you feel like, did you feel confident that you could that you could win once you had made it to the finals, or were there a lot of nerves? 일단 그런 큰 대회는 해본 적이 있어서 긴장은 전혀 되지 않았었고 어 내가 과연 그 우승을 할수 있을까라는 생각을 했었을 때어할수 있겠다라고 생각했던 이유가 일단 상대가 그 스태츠여가지고 어어 어, 상대가 다른 사람이면 모르겠는데 스태츠 어 이거 한번 해볼만 하겠다라는 일단 생각이 하나 있었고 음 그리고 제가 이제 결승하기 전에 화장실에서 이제 대엽이를 만났었는데 표정이 굉장히 경직이 돼 있는 거예요 그 어... 대엽이 표정이 원래 걔의 이제 장점이라고 하면은 약간 좀 여유로운 뭐 그런 게 이제 장점인 선수인데 약간 사람이 이제 긴장 너무 긴장해 있는 것 같아가지고 어 이건 나한테 오히려 기회가 될수 있겠다라고 생각을 했었던 게 이제 어 우승의 그 이유가 아니었나 그렇게 생각합니다. What did it mean to you when you came back to Korea and your fans had organized for the subway ad in Samsungdong commemorating your victory and 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 did you know that they were doing that or was it a surprise? 전혀 예상 못했고 나한테 어떻게 저런 일이 일어, 일어날 수가 있지? 이런 굉장히 놀라웠고 아 생각보다 나를 응원해주는 그러니까 준우승만 응원하는 사람이 아닌 내 우승을 응원하는 팬분들이 꽤 있었구나 굉장히 감동을 많이 받았고 네, 고, 고맙고 감사했죠 네. Yeah, it's actually really funny because uh, some member of the Korean community had posted on uh, Reddit asking people to raise money to pay for that and I saw it right away because you know I was a, I'm a big Starcraft nerd oh. so I look at this all the time and as soon as I saw it I was like yeah absolutely I want to contribute to this and I messaged the guy and within a few minutes the Korean community paid for the whole thing like I didn't even have opportunity to make a donation because your fans raised the money so quickly <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> um, so how did your time in the military go? Was it, was it a positive experience or were you pretty unhappy about it How, overall? What was what was the experience like? Um, ah, military people, I think I don't know if there was any of them. I think it's what I got in the military. 그런 업무 하면서 얻은 경험 그런 거랑 그 군생활 하면서 알게 된그 사람들 좋은 사람들을 얻게 됐고 어그 정도 말고는 다안 좋았던 것 같아요. Did you ever have any interactions with people as a police officer who knew who you were as a StarCraft pro? 아 어, 의경 이제 처음 이제 그 경찰서로 이제 가거든요. 자대 배치를. 네. 근데 경찰서에 갔을 때 이제 확실히 그 이제 진, 진짜 이제 경찰이신 분들은 나이대가 좀 있어 가지고 스타를 잘 아셔서 그때는 알아보는 분들이 꽤 있었는데 이제 군대 동기들은 거의 저랑 10살 뭐 넘게 차이 나 10살 정도 차이 났거든요. 9살. 그래서 그런지 아는 사람은 거의, 거의 <웃음> 없었던 것 같아요. Oh. But I meant like civilians, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm imagining a situation where you pull somebody over or something like or whatever. You have some kind of interaction as a police officer with a civilian mm. and it's their it's their favorite Starcraft player or at the very least a Starcraft player that they recognize that they're interacting with as a policeman. That must be a pretty funny experience for somebody. Mm. 어 기억이 없는 것 같은데요. 근데 뭐 인상 깊었던 거는 저를 알아 막 저를 알아봐서 그런 건 아니고 
어 이제 그런 업무를 나가면은 시민분들이 뭐 음료수도 주시고 뭐 사탕 이런 거 주시고 먹을 걸 가끔 주셔요. 근데 그건 저를 알아본 게 아니라 경찰 옷 입고 이제 근무하니까 수고한다고 그런 거 많이 주셨는데 그런 거는 이제 되게 감사했던 것 같아요. That's cool. I, at least that's like a positive part of the experience. So, what was the decision process like? Like, what led you to return to pursuing a career as a StarCraft II pro once you finished your uh, military service? Um, 저녁을 한 3개월 앞, 앞두고 그때 IM을 봤어요. IM을 하는 거 봤는데 어 그걸 보면서 사실은 스타투를 그만할까라는 이제 생각도 하고 있었는데 그걸 보고 나서 어 되게 재밌어 보이는 거예요. 재밌어 보이고 옛날 생각도 나고 다시 하고 싶은 그 약간 열정도 사, 살아나고 음 그래서 어 다시 한번 도전해 보고 싶다라는 생각이 들어서 어 그때부터 결심을 하게 됐죠. That makes sense. So you know, one thing I'm kind of curious about is like, given your time as a StarCraft One pro and the continued mm, relevance of StarCraft One in Korea, you know, do you think it would be possible for you to practice and compete as a StarCraft One pro, or do you think the game is just so different now than when you were a high level player? Um, 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 살아 있구나라고 좀 느꼈고 어 좀만 하면은 어 다시 옛날처럼 할 수도 있겠다라는 그냥 저만의 생각이고 어, 막상 이제 돌아갔을 때는 마, 막상 만약에 돌아가서 스타워는 제대로 하게 된다면 뭐 어떻게 될지는 모르겠지만 그래도 어, 할만 할것 같다는 생각은 들어요. Do you think it's possible for somebody to compete at a professional level in StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 simultaneously? 음, 저는 가능하다고는 생각하는데 그걸 가능케 하려면 이제 엄청난 시간과 노력이 필요할 것 같아요. Makes sense. You know, there there was talk that TY was going to do that. Um but it seems like he hasn't really had a lot of success in either game uh yet. Um so I'm really yeah, I'm very curious to see if that's something that can be done. 음, 어 태양이 같은 경우에는 일단 게임적으로 굉장히 뛰어난 선수라고 생각하고 어, 충분히 가능하다고 생각을 했는데 어 어차피 스타원 한지도 막 그렇게 오래 안 됐고 사실 조금만 더 하면은 충분히 가능하다고 보는데 어 그걸 이제 가능케 하려면은 그 많은 노력이 필요한데. 전역한 지 얼마 안된그 사람의 입장에서 그 노력하는 게 굉장히 힘들다고 생각을 하거든요. 태양이도 아마 그 노력이 아마 좀 힘들지 않았을까. 근데 만약에 진짜 작정하고 둘다 잘할 생각으로 거기에 이제 자기 시간과 그 열정을 쏟는다면 저는 할수 있을 거라고 생각해요. 엄청 독해져야 된다. 네. 음. 태양이가 좀 그러니까 허허하는 게 있어가지고 그냥 좀 독하게 하면은 저는 가능하다고는 생각합니다. Well, yeah, I mean, he was obviously pretty incredible under the ID baby back in Brood War, and you know, from what I understand, looked like he could be like, you know, whatever a, a Star League champion in that game as well. And and then, uh, you know, other, on the other hand, he was an incredibly successful StarCraft two player. So yeah, it, it, it totally makes sense that he could. Do that. Um, so, what do you think of of Stormgate? Uh, what What have you heard about this game, or if you've heard anything? 
사실 뭐 보거나 들은 거는 전혀 없고 음. 어, 아예 정보가 아예 없어가지고 제가 뭐 어. 무슨 말을 어, 해야 될지 모르겠는데 아 그래요? 그냥 음. 뭐 바라는 건단 하나죠 잘 됐으면 좋겠다 <웃음> Do you see yourself participating in a community around that game or any other RTS title if there is a well developed community around it? 어, 네, 물론 참여할 생각이 있고 음. 사실 그것만 기다리는 RTS 그 선수들이 많이 있, 있어요. 그래서 얼른 좋은 게임으로 나왔으면 좋겠습니다. So, uh, that's about what I had prepared for you. Uh, do you have any closing words? 음, 어, 뭐, 항상, 항상 생각하는 거지만, 항상 팬분들에게 감사하다고 생각을 하고 있고, 어, 저 응원해주시는 분들, 어, 스타트 응원해주시는 분들 항상 감사하게 생각하고 있고, 어, 저도 열심히 하고 있으니까, 음, 계속 응원해주시기 바랍니다. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Get subscribed so you don't miss out on future releases like this one. If you really enjoy what I do here, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the video description. That's all for now, my friends. Until next time.